Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy with PocketNow.com. Let's take a trip in the Wayback Machine and take a look at one of my old phones. It's the HTC Vision, better known as the T-Mobile G2 around here, and it's running Jelly Bean. Let's go take a look. This is the HTC Vision, also known as the T-Mobile G2. This is the phone that has a nice spring out slider. If we look over here, it's got this really interesting opening and closing mechanism that a lot of people thought was going to be just all kinds of fragile and uh, would break. As you can tell here, even though the phone itself is very well used, that hinge is just fine. So any of you who were thinking that this was not well constructed, your concerns were unfounded. It's got a nice physical keyboard, which back in the day, I love physical keyboards. I've now moved on to on-screen keyboards, but hey, let's go back and take a look at this. Now, what makes this newsworthy today is, well, it's running Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. No, before you get your hopes up, this is not official. HTC has not gone and pushed an update out Neither has CyanogenMod, although this is a CM10.1 nightly. It's just been modified, tweaked, and somehow shoehorned to work on this hardware. So let's take a look really fast. Let's go through some of the stuff. First of all, we've got CyanogenMod statistics right over here with error reporting turned on. Go back home. Let's flip around a little bit and see it's relatively fluid. If we open up our app drawer, I don't have an awful lot of apps installed. Little bit of screen desensitivity. Whether that's part of the ROM or just the age of the screen, I don't know. But overall, I mean, take a look at how smooth this is. Not quite as fast as it could otherwise be, but overall, for the, the latest and greatest operating system, I'm really, really quite impressed. Now, a, th a few things that we're missing here. Inside camera camera does work it does take pictures it, it is pretty nice you'll notice we don't have photosphere that's kind of to be expected if we come in we can go in and change our settings over here a little bit of lag a little bit of slowness just things that you might expect use the power button for the shutter there it's not wonderful but you know, it's really not supposed to be. And you saw some lag there when we were trying to go back home out of the camera app. Would I use this as a daily driver? Absolutely, yes. If this were the phone that I had and I just bought it on eBay for 25 bucks, 50 bucks, I would totally root it. I would totally put this build of Cyanogen Mod on it and, and run with it. Now again, not an official Cyanogen Mod ROM. This has been picked up by a third party, and that third party developer, I'll have full kudos and credits over at pocketnow.com, deserves all of the thanks for getting it to work over here, and getting it to work as well as it does. It does come with the stock browser browser, not Chrome browser, so that helps speed things up just a little bit. Seeing some lag here because I don't have my Wi-Fi connected at this point, but that's, uh, that's not a ROM problem at all. I had it connected earlier today. So... How does it benchmark? We tried Geekbench 2, we tried Quadrant. Not fabulous. I mean, we're testing phones that bench up in the 5,000s in some of, in some of these benchmarks. This didn't perform quite that well. For the exact numbers, make sure you head over to our article at pocketnow.com. I'll have a link to that article at the bottom of this video. Overall though, I'm really impressed. If you want to try this on your old T-Mobile G2 or HTC Vision, I'll have links on where you can download the ROM. Just go ahead and flash it, flash gaps with it, and you're done. You're up, you're running, it works, and it's beautiful, and it's Jelly Bean, and you even have Google Now. You can't swipe up, but you can just tap into it. If I had an internet connection, it would be a little bit better than just doing this, but Google Now, right there, and it works. Beautiful thing. So what do you think? Do you like seeing old phones given new life with up-to-date operating systems? If so, give the video a big thumbs up. If you've got questions, comments, tips, or some other devices that you've been able to get CyanogenMod 10.1 running on, 
or jelly bean in any other flavor? We want to know about that in the comments over at pocketnow.com. Again, questions, comments, head over to pocketnow.com. Let us know in the comments down there. That's where we're going to be spending most of our time answering those questions. For Pocket Now, showing off old devices running brand new operating systems, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.